You can now personalize your AI art using a new feature being tested currently on Midjourney, which is simply called Model Personalization. And the first thing I'm going to show you exactly how you can start to personalize your model. So you need to head to the Midjourney website, log in, and on the left here, there's a section called Tasks. After you click on that, you want to go to Rank Images, and they're going to show you two images, and you're basically going to need to decide which one you prefer. So I click here. The other thing you can do is use the one and two keys on your keyboard or three to skip if you want to go through nice and quick. So I'm gonna choose number two. In this one, I like number two again, so I'll choose that. And you're gonna to wanna to go through and rank about 200 images in order to get your personalization going. Now, when you are done, you can check how many rankings you've actually gone through by going to this ranking count up here. You'll see it's at 590. So that means I've done more than enough to personalize my personal model. Now, when I'm done, I go over to create and you can see I've got a few images here that are non-personalized. I'm going to click on this to use this text as my prompt. And this is where we type in the parameter dash dash P to use our personalized model on our prompt. I hit enter and this is my personalized image. Now it doesn't look much different from the other, from the other images I've done, but I am going to do some comparison soon using the same seed to show you the difference. You'll also notice we have a personalization code. So I can essentially use the same text, type in dash dash P, and then add my code to the end like this. And we get some more images. But if I add this again, add in dash dash P, which will just be my personalization, I can also add in dash dash S, and I can type in zero if I wanna turn my personalization right down to nothing, 100, which is the default, or all the way up to 1,000 to maximize my personalization. So I'm gonna hit enter and I've been able to really ramp up that level of personalization, which I think is pretty nifty. Now this works the same with the same parameters in Discord, but there is one small difference. Now in Discord, I can do the same thing. I type in slash imagine, my prompt, and the same thing, dash dash P, and using the same parameters as we did before. But what the big difference in Discord is, if I remove my prompt, go to slash settings, I have the option to turn on personalization. And if I click it, you'll notice the suffix says dash dash P at the end. So when using Discord, you can actually set it by default and have it running pretty much all the time if that's what you want. If you really want to take it next level, you can go to slash prefer suffix, type dash dash P, and then even add your stylized value. So dash dash S could be 500 or all the way up to 1000. You can actually do that as well and set these settings by default. So if I hit enter, you notice it's added my personalization, the code and stylize at the end, which is pretty handy and much, a bit of a time saver as well. Now, if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to check out my mid journey cheat sheet, which has all these parameters and has just been updated with the latest personalization feature. There's a link in the description to download that. Now, before I go on to the comparisons, I just want to mention that this is still early and a testing phase and mid journey have described it as a fun feature constantly in flux. So things aren't always gonna be consistent. So I do recommend just approaching this with that in mind. Now I've tested these out by using the exact same seed number and the exact same image on each grid to more accurately show you the difference from non-personalized to standard personalized to full stylized 1000. Starting with the Incredible Hulk, you can see how he looks fairly normal in the first image, which has no personalization, a little more roughed up in the middle, and then almost completely caveman on the far right with the full stylized 1000 value. Move over to a beautiful waterfall in nature, and we've got a pretty standard image on the left, but then we start to get something more artistic in the middle, crank that stylized up to 1000, and we get a whole different color palette with the pink leaves and really a much more interesting image, uh, at least in my opinion. After all, I did choose the images I like, so it's kind of cool to see it a little bit more personalized and looking a bit more something I prefer. In this image of the woman's face, we've got her face and then a little bit of something covering it. And on the third one, being covered up completely, showing that I seem to like images in front of faces for some reason. We have a warrior ready for battle. I love the way the warrior changes and uh, we sort of got him standing there, just a completely different type of warrior than a fully armored one. Then we've sort of gone back to a more tribal sort of uh, style. Uh, so a little bit harder to pick the progress there, but you can definitely see the difference. 
and a fancy car. We've got just a standard car on the left, something pink and a little bit crazy in the middle, and then completely off the charts on the right with the that kind of really bright sort of aquary type style. Um, really interesting. And Planet Earth, this was very interesting because I've just simply got Planet Earth without the personalization, but moving up to 100, and it seems to lean more towards nature and sort of nature scenes. And you can see how much that's highlighted by going to Stylize 1000, where we've got trees and a globe inside of kind of like a floating mountain. So that definitely seems to be a bit of a theme with my personalization style. And a smartphone. We've got a simple picture of someone holding a smartphone, but then it's gone a little bit more off the charts in the middle there, a bit more dramatic, a smashed up phone. And on the far right, a very fancy smashed up phone with uh, completely different imagery. I think this mirrors my internal hatred for the fact that we're all connected to our phones constantly. But uh, also that's a pretty cool effect the way it's gone from left to right there. This time we have a modern family home going from something very traditional to something a little bit more unique. It's still modern with the third one being a completely unique looking image. I love the way it's applied that style and created something very different to what I normally get with this prompt. So I highly recommend going and having a bit of a play with that. Remember you need to rank your 200 images on the Midjourney website before you can personalize your model. But that's the video for today, guys. Hope you found it useful. Don't forget to check out my Midjourney cheat sheet. There's a link in the description below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.